Hi, welcome to another video on our how to series. In today's video, I'll show you how to install Portena on a Docker Swarm cluster. It is important to note that you should ideally have highly available cluster wide persistent storage. In this demo, I'm using NFS storage. Um, however, this can be any supported storage uh, that you can use. Without cluster-wide persistent storage, you might run into an issue where when a swarm node fails and the Portainer container comes up on a new node, it'll leave behind all the data on config, essentially uh, coming up in a blank state. To avoid this issue, we highly recommend having cluster-wide persistent highly available storage. For this demo, I have a three node swarm cluster and all of them are uh, managers at the moment. So we'll be installing Portainer on this cluster uh, backed by NFS storage. On top of installing Portainer and configuring it, we'll also go through a scenario of a node failure and see how Portainer behaves in that scenario. So best place to get uh, Portainer installation instructions would be the documentation.portainer.io. Once you go there, you can click on Quick Start and choose the platform that you want to install on. For now, we'll choose Docswarm and you'll see all the instructions here. The um, ML stack file uh, for Portainer can be downloaded using the first command that's here. Uh, it's, it's just available at downloads.portainer.io. I'll copy the command. I go to the first manager node on my cluster. Download the Portainer agent hyphen stack file. I'll need to modify this slightly um, to add config for my storage. I will not change anything in here except for adding my storage details which is backed by NFS. So I'll copy a few lines from here which I've already prepared and just paste it. So instead of just creating a local volume, I'm choosing to create an NFS4 volume on an NFS server that I've already created and I'm mounting that part. So now that volume will be mounted as slash data inside my portainer container. So I'll save that and exit out. Now that we have the ML file, we'll just carry on with the second command here. Just paste and enter. Now that's creating Portainer Agent Network, a service for Portainer Agents and the service for Portainer itself. We can quickly check the services that are created. We're running doc service ls. We can see that uh, it's created a service for Portainer agent and a service for Portainer um, with the CE image. I can check Docker volume and we'll see the Portainer data volume there mounted already. Um, now that it's already installed and we've make sure everything is running properly we just go to one of the ip addresses of the nodes on port 9000 and we can see the initialization page where we need to set up the password for the admin user i'll do that i'll leave the anonymous statistics on for now create once we log in you can see that the local Cluster is already added as an endpoint. 
if we look at the cluster itself, see we have three nodes, all of them ready and active. If we look at the services, we have Portainer Agent and Portainer and Containers. We can see that Portainer itself is running on Manager 2 at the moment. And to simulate a node failure, I will now reboot Manager 2 and see how Portainer comes back. So go to Manager 2, reboot now, issue the command, you can see that's gone. Okay, so as you can see, it was running on Manager 2. When it went down, it's gone, recreated itself on Manager 3. So if we go back to the UI, refresh the page, we will be asked to log back in. And here it is. Everything should be back to normal. As manager 2 is still down. Container would be running on manager 3 instead of manager 2. So this will only work because we have cluster-wide persistent storage. Without that, the portainer, um, container would have re restarted on manager 3 in, in a blank state and you would have seen that it will come up and ask you to redo the admin password. So to avoid that issue, we highly recommend that you have cluster-wide persistent storage. So that's as simple as that to install portainer on the Docker Swarm cluster. You may have a need to install Portainer um, on Docker Swarm behind a proxy, or you may want to use um, SSL certificates um, on using the proxy. So um, as an advanced deployment, I'll go through how we can deploy Portainer in Docker Swarm behind a traffic proxy and also show you how to use your own SSL sets. To get started, I already have a um, ML file for the stack that we want to deploy. Um, I'll link this in the comments uh, in description for the video. I'll, I'll spend some time explaining what's going on in this uh, before we get started. So. In this stack, we have three services. Um, in, in the previous part of the video, the stack only had agent and portainer services. Now we're adding an extra service for traffic. Uh, as you can see, we're using the latest image of traffic. And to start the container, we're adding some commands. Uh, most of this is self-explanatory. So entry point for HTTP, port is 80. For HTTPS Web Secure port 443, uh, provided as Docker is true because we're using Swarm mode, we say Swarm mode equals true. And um, the, the one thing that's slightly different from standard is this here. Uh, basically, we're saying that the certificate file details are available in this directory here. So um, and everything else. So exposing ports 80 and 443, we're going to put this on a public overlay network. And uh, this is standard Docker SOC. And this is extra we were attaching our SSL certs and basically pointing that to ATC certs inside the container. Um, agent is pretty standard, uh, not many changes there. And Portina um, here will see that it's attached to two networks, um, agent network and the public network. So, um, so the traffic can actually talk to the Portina container as well. And um, some labels here that traffic will use uh, to be able to um, reverse proxy it. So basically enabling traffic to reverse proxy this and we're setting the host name that'll be portainer.samstack.blog and we're saying that it's going to be 
a secure entry point so if i just said web then it's expected to work on port 80 so i'm saying web secure so it'll be https on port 43 and we're saying tls is true to use certificates and uh, the container port that the uh, proxy should point to is port 9000 and basically the service name um, that it's going to point to is portena um, we're also this is optional if you do want to have your edge traffic go through the same proxy then you could use this uh, for edge i'm just choosing to use just the insecure or http traffic and um, I'm defining two volumes and backing both of them using NFS4 here. Uh, Portainer data, like just like the previous example, is in NFS and um, and the certs. So here's where I'm saving my uh, SSL certificates. So um, I'll show you what is in that folder shortly. Uh, go to my NFS server so I have um, full chain dot PEM which is the certificate and the CA and the uh, private key dot PEM which is the key for the cert the main thing so the traffic will know what certs to use from this folder based on this file here so cert file, we're pointing it to the full chain and the key file, we're pointing it to um, private key one dot pem in that folder, which is what we're mounting this inside the traffic container. So we come out of that, go back to here. So I'll copy this. Go to my swarm manager node. Uh, before we run the uh, create the stack we need to create two networks uh, one is public for the traffic um, to use and the other one the agent network for portainer and agent to use services to use so i'm creating those two then i'm going to create a ml file and paste our code in here don't worry about this i'll um i'll have this in the description of the video so save it exit now i'm going to create the stack using that file docker stack deploy portainer proxy and the name portainer so it should create three services for us. If we look at, once it's done, if we look at Docker Service LS, we're still waiting on traffic to come up. Give it one more, few more moments. Okay, so it has come up now. As you can see, so it should now just work for us. If we went to portainer.samstack.blog. Yeah. It works so as you can see and it's using the certificate that I've created and um, used inside traffic and um, it's on HTTPS and internally pointing to 9000 on Portena so this is now secured with your own SSL certificates fronted by traffic proxy I hope this video has been helpful um, if you have any questions or comments, feel free to comment below. And uh, thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.